Hello everyone, I'm Divina Del Castilla from Group 4 and I'm now here to present to you our Day 8 activity which is entitled as Mechanical Properties of Metals. For the concept of stress and strain, simple stress strain tests which are most frequently uh, performed on metals at room temperature may determine the mechanical behavior of a load that is static or varies relative, relatively slowly over time and is applied uniformly throughout a cross section or a sur surface of a part. Tension, compression, and shear are the three main ways uh, that a load may be imposed. For the tension test, one of the most common mechanical stress strain tests is performed in tension. A specimen is deformed usually to fracture with gradually increasing tensile load that is applied um, axially along the long axis of a specimen. Normally, the cross section is circular, but rectangular specimens are also used. This dog bone specimen configuration was chosen so that during testing, the deformation is confined to the narrow center region, which has a uniform cross section along its length and also to reduce the likelihood of a fracture at the ends of the specimen. The standard diameter is approximately 12.8 mm or 0.5 inches, where, whereas the reduced section length should be at least four times this diameter, 60 mm or 2 and uh, 1 fourth inches is common. Cage length is used in ductility computations. As discussed in section 6.6, .6, the standard value is 50 millimeter or 2 inches. The output such a, ten, such a tensile test is recorded usually in computer as load or force versus elong elongation. This load deformation characteristics def depend on the specimen size. For example, it requires twice the load to produce the same elongation if the cross-sectional area of the specimen is doubled. To minimize these geometrical factors, load and elongation are normalized to the respective parameters of engineering stress and engineering strain. Engineering stress. Engineering stress is defined by the relationship in which force is the instantaneous load applied perpendicular to the specimen cross-section in units of newton or pounds per force and an area sub-zero is the original cross-sectional area before any load is applied. The units of engineering stress are megapascals or the MPA where the where um, where one megapas megapascal is equal to 106 newton per meter square and pounds force per square inch or the psi engineering strain engineering strain is defined according to in which is the original length before the any load is applied and length sub 1 is the instantaneous length. Sometimes the quantity um, length sub i minus length sub 0 is, den is denoted as change in length is the deformation elongation or change in uh, length of some instant. As reference to the original length, engineering strain, subsequ subsequently called just strain, is unitless but meters per meter or inches per inch is often used. The value of strain is obviously independent of the unit system. Sometimes strain is also expressed as percentage in which strain value is multiplied by 100. Compression test or the strain test. Strain tests may be conducted if in service forces are that are of this type. A compression test is conducted in a manner similar to the tensile test 
except that the force is compressive and the specimen contracts along the direction of the stress. By convention, a compressive co force is taken to the negative, which yields a negative stress. Furthermore, because um, length sub zero is greater than length sub one, compressive strain computed are necessarily also negative. Tensile tests are more common because they are easier to perform. Also, for most materials used in structural applications, very little additional information is obtained from a compressive test. Compressive tests are used when a material's behavior under large and permanent strain is desired, as in manufacturing applications or when the material is brittle in tension. Shear and torsional test. For tests performed using a pure shear force as sh shown below, the shear stress is computed according to this uh, formula. Force over area, where F is load or force imposed parallel to the upper and lower faces, each of which has an area of A sub zero, the shear strain, Y is defined as the tangent of the strain angle theta. The units for shear stress and the strain are the same as for the tensile counterparts. Torsion is a variation of pure shear in which structural uh, member is twisted in the manner. Torsional forces produce rational motion about the longitudinal axis of a one end of the member relative to the other load. Examples of torsion are found for machine axles and drive shafts as we uh, as for twist wheels. Torsional stress are normally performed on cylindrical solid shafts or tubes. A shear stress is uh, a function of the applied torque, whereas shear strain or the Y is related to the angle of twist. Geometric consideration of the stress state. It states that represented in the uh, pictures provided either parallel or perpendicular to the plane or phases of the body's representation in, the, uh, in these illustrations. Note that the stress state is a function of the orientation of the planes upon which the strain are taken to act. For example, consider the cylindrical tensile specimen to figure that is subjected to a tensile stress applied parallel to its axis. Furthermore, consider also the plane P minus P prime that is oriented at the same arbitrary angle relative to the plane of the specimen and phase. Upon this plane, P minus P prime, the applied stress is no longer a pure tensile one. Rather, a more complex stress state is present that consists of a tensile stress that acts normal to the P minus P prime plane. And in addition, a shear stress that acts parallel to this plane, both of these stresses are, are represented in the figure. Okay, using, uh, using the mechanics of materials principles, it is possible to develop equation for um, stress prime and tensile prime in terms of theta and uh, stress and theta as follows. Uh, stress theta, uh, stress prime is equal to uh, stress cosine squared theta or equals to stress quantity one cosine uh, 2 times theta all over 2 and tensile prime is equals to theta multiplied by sine theta cosine theta or uh, stress quantity sine 2 theta all over 2. Elastic deformation. Stress strain behavior, the degree to which a structure deforms or strains depends on the magnitude of an imposed stress. For most metals that are stressed in tension and are relatively low levels, stress and strain are proportional to each other through the relationship. Through the relationship. 
um, this is the formula. Stress is equals to um, EG. This is known as Hooke's Law. And the constant proportion, proportion, proportionality, proportionality E is the modulus of elasticity or Young modulus. For most typical metals, the magnitude of this modulus ranges between uh, 45 gigapascal for magnesium and uh, 407 gigapascal for uh, tungsten. The formation in which stress and strain are proportional is called elastic. A plot of stress versus strain results in a linear relationship. The slope of this linear segment corresponds to the modulus of elasticity E. This modulus may be thought of as a stiffness or a material's resistance to elastic deformation. The greater the modulus, the steeper the material or the smaller the elastic chain that results from the application of a given stress. The modulus is an important design parameter for computing elastic deflections. We provide here a picture of uh, some uh, equivalent modulus of elasticity and shear modulus of some metals alloy such as aluminum, brass, copper, magnesium, nickel, steel, titanium, and tungsten. Elastic deformation. Engineering stress is, defi is defined by the relationship in which F is the instantaneous load applied perpendicular to the specimen cross-section in units of newton or pounds. Um, an area sub-zero is the original cross-sectional area before any load is applied. The unit's engineering stress uh, are mag megapascals or MPA and in pounds uh, force per square inch or the PSI. There are some materials, uh, example given is gray cast iron, concrete and many polymers for which this elastic portion of the stress stream uh, curve is not linear. Hence, it is not possible to determine a modulus of elasticity as described previously. For this nonlinear behavior, either the tangent or second modulus is normally used. The tangent modular modulus is taken as the slope of the stress strain curve at some specified level of stress, whereas the second modulus represents the slope of a second drawn uh, from the origin to some given point of the um, uh, stress curve. On an atomic scale, macroscopic elastic strain is manifested as small changes in the in uh, interatomic spacing and the stretching of interatomic bonds. As a consequence, the magnitude of the modulus elasticity is a measure of this uh, resistance to the separation of uh, adjacent atoms. That is, the interatomic bonding forces. Furthermore, this modulus uh, is proportional to the slope of the atomic force separation curve at the equilibri equilibrium spacing. The figure shows the four separation curves for materials having both uh, strong and weak interatomic bands. The slope at R sub zero is indicated for each values of the modula, uh, modulus of elasticity for ceramic materials are about uh, the same as for metals. For polymers, they are lower. These differences are the direct conse uh, consequence of the different types of atomic bonding in the three material types. Furthermore, with increasing temperature, the modulus of elasticity decreases. As would be expected, uh, the in imposition of compressive shear stress or torsional stress also evokes elastic behavior. The, the stress strain characteristic at low stress level are literally the same uh, for both tensile and compressive situations. 
to include the magnitude of the modulus of elasticity. Shear stress and strain are proportional to each other through the expansion or the expression where the G is the shear modulus. The slope of the linear uh, elastic region of the shear stress strain curve also gives the shear moduli for a number of common metals. Uh, the formula here stay, uh, given is uh, tensile equals G multiplied by Y. And elasticity. A tension exerted results in a immediate elastic strain that stays constant for the duration of the stress, which is known as the elastic deformation. Additionally, it has been presumpted that the strain is fully recovered, that is, uh, quickly return to zero after the load is released. However, there will also be often be a time-dependent elastic strain com uh, component in engineering materials. This means uh, that elastic deformation will persist after the application of stress and once the load is released. A limited amount of time is needed for full recovery. This time-dependent elastic behavior is known as inelasticity, and it is due to the time-dependent microscopic and ato atomistic process that are attendant to the deformation. For metals, the inelastic component is normally small and is often neglected. However, for some polymers materials, its magnitude is significant. In this case, it is termed as Viscoelastic behavior. Elastic properties of materials. When a tensile stress is imposed on a metal specimen, an elastic elongation is accompanying strain result in the direction of the applied stress. The applied stress or the arbit uh, arbitrary taken to the B the Z direction, as indicated in the figure. As a result of this elongation, there will be a constriction in the lateral x and y direction perpendicular to the applied stress. From this, from this construction, uh, constructions, the compressive strain and uh, e x and e y may be determined if the applied stress in is uniaxial only. In the x direction, the the material is isotropic. Then e x is equals to e y. A parameter term for po uh, Poisson's ratio uh, is defined as the ratio of the lateral axis strains. V is equals to e x over e z equals to negative e y over e z. Okay, for the application. Okay, uh, for the application of an axial tensile stress. We provide here the picture and the uh, formula. Okay, also, uh, thank you everyone.